Hi guys, this is a simple example of detecting an outlier and removing them using Python. Uh, as usual, you import your regular libraries in Python. Then you read your CSV file which contains your data. This is how my CSV file looks. I have three values of 5. I have around 25 values of 50. And I have two uh, values of 189. So in our case, the values 5, 189 are outliers and my data is mostly concentrated towards 50. I'll show you a histogram plot of what I mean to say. So if you see the concentration of the value 25, it's really high as compared to the values 89 and 100 and also the value 5 here which lies in this range. So how do I detect outliers that this part is an outlier and this part is an outlier? A simple way is I can draw a boundary. So this example is a bit simple as I've considered all the values to be 50. But I can take values in the range of 40 to 60 and then have a boundary at around say 65 and uh, 35 and eliminate values which are either less than that uh, boundary condition or greater than that boundary condition uh, from left or right. So I define a lower bound as 0.1 and upper bound as 0.95. Uh, this lower and upper bound are basically the quantile lower and upper bounds. Uh, once you have the lower and upper bounds in hand, uh, you define a variable which captures your lower and upper bound value of your data. So I'll show you what the result contains. So result that uh, 0.10 quantile value is 45.5. So any value greater than 45.5 is an acceptable value. Any value less than this is an outlier. Any value greater than or less than 71.45 is a normal value. Any value greater than 71.45 is an outlier for our case. Uh, so considering the first value which is 5, 5 uh, is less than 45.50 and also less than 71.45. So the first condition is not met so it's a false. Uh, in the second case if I consider 50 value which lies in our range then 50 is greater than 45.50 but less than 71.45 so we both have we have both the trues coming into picture so we have a true so we can define an index based approach wherein now we have what values we are chasing for for our lower bound and an upper bound we can then define uh, a, a region if it's within that region we say it's a true index if it's not within that region we say it's a false index so this is something that does the same thing uh, if you see this part it's similar to this part you have result dot location of lower bound lower bound is 0.1 if it's less than df dot values dot values which is your 5 50 and the other values in your data frame and you're also checking if your value in consideration is less than your upper limit uh, quantile value so this would return your true index i'll run this cell and uh, show you the output so as you can see the values 5 5 5 and uh, 5 5 5 and uh, 89 and 100 are all false uh, whereas 50s are all true because they lie in that range. Now uh, just uh, I'll save some values as false index as well. So false index would be the inverse of my true index. So 555 are true here and 89 and 100 are true as well. Uh, the other values are false. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how the true index would appear. So all of these values are 50. So in a way if dropping the variable is not a concern if we don't have a lot of information stored in the outliers then this approach is good you just extract the true index and uh, you are done you have removed the outliers but in certain cases uh, you do need the outlier values you want to modify the outlier value so that they come into the range your acceptable range so in that case you cannot easily drop the index values so what you can do is one way is you can calculate mean or median depending on what is suitable at that given uh, case so I define a median uh, mean would also be the same because I'm considering all values as 50. So I calculate a variable called as mid which would be the median of all the true values. Uh, this turns out to be 50. Now what I do is all the values wherein the outliers are there. I want to replace them by my median values. And I do this by the statement df of false index is equal to mid. I run it and now if you see all the values are 50 ranging from 0 to 29 index so 30 values all of them are 50 i have successfully removed all the outliers which are there uh, thanks for watching the video hope you liked it uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you